Welcome back to Plan a Week You Can Win. Today, we're talking about creating momentum. So we have already talked about increasing clarity by creating our visions and overcoming this idea of being bored or being busy and, you know, but unfulfilled, right? We need to decide what matters to us and start bringing that into our days. And the way we're going to do that is by taking action. And we talked about that um, in the previous lesson about planning a week. You could win doing this weekly walkthrough by bringing your vision big time from your yearly down all the way to bringing your vision to your week so that every week you're moving your vision forward in little ways by doing three things a week to move yourself towards your vision or even one or two things every week for 52 weeks of the year, you are going to make incredible progress. But how are you going to know that? So that is what today is about. We're going to work on getting this upward arrow towards living alignment. So when you're here, this is a place where you're going to feel lots of energy, lots of momentum, and where the things that you're spending your time on are going to spill into all of the different areas of your life, into your relationships, into you. You're going to show up as better and better because you are more and more excited and more fulfilled and feeling good about your life. But we need to do that um, with some important habits, an important practice that I want you to start doing. And let me just tell you about where I learned that this was essential. So I was pregnant with my third child at this point, and that every pregnancy has gotten significantly harder on my body physically. So this third pregnancy uh, floored me. Second one was hard. It was hard to walk that my pelvis separates. So it was hard to walk. But this third one, I was sicker than I'd ever been before and in more physical pain than I'd ever been in before um, all the time. And it was, it was very mentally challenging for me to deal with that. And as I laid on the couch, I would often just think like, well, all I do is lay here. Um, and, and for you, this is a very common thing to be thinking about. Even if you're not super sick, pregnant, right? Like all I do is change diapers. All I do is run carpool. All I do is cook meals and clean up, right? You can fill in that blank. All I do is right. We all think these things it's normal. It's how our, it's our brain likes to think this way in negative cycles. Um, but for me, I was thinking this, all I do is, and I was feeling completely miserable, completely miserable. And so one day I lugged myself out onto the little porch. We had a teeny tiny little cement patio step. I put my kids out there with something to draw with. I grabbed a notebook, my notebook that I was creating um, the planner in and wrote down what I had learned, what I discovered, what I'd accomplished, where we had gone. Um, things I'd done with my family, books I had read. And I sat down and I went over, I, I went back two months and thought about, okay, over 60 days, what are, you know, what can I think of? And I was able to think of things in every single section. And you know what the amazing thing was? My life was better than I thought it was. It was so much better. And in that moment, I realized I hadn't just been laying on the couch. I had gone with my family to this one little place and, and it was an accomplishment. I had learned things while I was laying on the couch. I had been reading books. I had discovered some really cool things. Um, and we had been intentional with our kids, even though it's not, it was not an ideal season. It was a very hard season, but it helped me realize and see more clearly what was true. Now I do that exercise every single 30 days. It is built into the thriving and motherhood planner because we have to constantly combat this lie of all I do is because when we, when we think that way, we don't see what we're actually doing. We don't see reality. And what that means is that progress that you're making, those baby steps that you're taking, those little big threes that you're accomplishing every week, you forget them. And unfortunately that cuts your progress off. It just kills momentum. The way we keep momentum going is by seeing the progress. And as you continue to see your progress, you get energy and the energy compounds and it starts to build that momentum and it goes faster and faster and it gets exciting and you feel better about your life. But the way that you do that is by sitting down every 30 days and writing down. Okay. I want you to maybe quick, take some notes. What did you learn this month or discover? What have you accomplished? And anything goes, I'm not even talking the big flashy stuff, right? Any aspect of your life, what have you accomplished? Um, where have you gone? with, you know, by yourself, with your family, what have you guys done? Um, what have you done with your family? Were there meaningful traditions? Were there things that you started? Were there things that you did that were just fun? Um, what books have you read? And when you do those things and you write that out, I always come to this exercise feeling crummy every single month. I've been doing this for years, every single month. I'm like, oh, I didn't get that much done. It's so disappointing. And by the end of that, I'm thinking my life is awesome. I am on the right track things are really, really good. So I want that for you. 
I run a monthly group call, Soaring Mother Society, and we come together and the feedback that I've gotten, I've worked with these women for two years. The feedback that I get every single time is I didn't realize how much I needed this. We all need this, right? We all need to be able to see our life a little more clearly because as you go back, like I said, we, we, we start there because as you go back and you plan your next month and get ready to, you know, look at your vision again, I want you not coming in it from a place of, oh, I'm not making any progress. All I do is this. No, no, no. I want you to come from a, from a place of reality. Like, wow, my life is awesome. I'm doing so great. And plan from a feeling good, not from feeling bad. When you plan from feeling bad, you're not going to, it's not going to be that fun. I want it to be fun for you to do these things. Now, as we talk about this monthly review, the other area that we're going to review is our quarters. So every 90 days, we're going to go back and look at our vision and we're going to look at the things that you have accomplished and what's going well, what's not going well, what things did you write down that are no longer relevant that you don't even need to worry about anymore. Um, all so that you can start fresh, wipe the slate clean. This is how we build in loads of flexibility. We have flexibility within our weeks and we build flexibility within our dreams too, because they change, they change. And we're totally okay with them changing. We're going to expect them to change. We're going to expect our circumstances to change. We're going to expect to adapt. But the thing that's going to stay consistent is that we are going to continue to get clear about what matters to us and what we want to become. We're going to continue to create our weeks in ways that we can win them and take action towards the things that matter to us in small pockets of time. And we're going to continue to do our reviews, our monthly reviews and see and feel the progress that we're making so that you are spending more and more time living in alignment and building that positive energy and momentum toward whatever it is that's important to you, whatever your dream is. And maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's going back to school. Maybe it's starting a business. Maybe it's just reading to your kids more. Maybe it's decorating your house. Maybe it's starting to exercise, to eat better, to get healthier, to figure out your laundry system, you know, whatever it might be. Um, if you Think big, decide what you want to do, and you decide a little thing that you can do each week towards that dream of yours. You are going to see it happen over time. Now, the last video tomorrow I want to share with you is this system to make it simple because as I'm talking really high level, it might feel overwhelming and you're like, I cannot do this. Just kidding. But I want you to stick with me. I want you to come watch this because I'm going to show you how to make it so simple where all you have to do is turn pages.